Hi everybody. This week we're going to talk about RV GPS and why we use this Garmin portable GPS over the built-in GPS that's in our Class A motorhome. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jim and our channel is RV Into Retirement. And one of the main reasons we like using this portable RV GPS over the one that's built into our coach is that this one is specifically made for RVs. It's easily updated anytime that you're going out on a trip. It connects to Wi-Fi and you can update your maps. It has lifetime free maps but also it has uh, other features that we'll go through in this video. But as you can see on our dashboard, we have this uh, Pioneer GPS built in. And what I find by using this uh, Pioneer GPS, it's really designed for cars and they put this into an RV. I know a lot of people use the GPS that comes onto your phone and there's some apps that also have RV related GPS's um, but for a, a Class A motorhome probably for a lot of travel trailers and fifth wheels are pretty high and you're going to want to make sure that you go down roads that one uh, can handle the height of your RV and you can plug all those specifics into this particular GPS. So let's go through a few of the settings and I'll show you why we prefer this. So let's take a look at some of the features that this GPS offers. When you're first going into it, you can go to your settings and you can uh, check and see if there's any updates. Right now we're connected to our Wi-Fi in the coach or, or you can check it against your cell phone. It does show that there is a software update, which I will do in a little bit. Um, but the other thing is that you can enter your vehicle profile. So I have that we're 43,000 pound, we're class A coach, there's 61 uh, feet and that's including our tow vehicle. Uh, we're not quite 13 feet, but I put 13 feet in just to be uh, extra safe that we're not going to run into anything and we're eight and a half feet. Wide. I can also switch this over to car if I'm going to be uh, using this in our car. And then you can set your uh, vehicle preferences, what kind of vehicle that you want to show on the map and what kind of uh, view you want. We usually choose the 3D view, how much detail that you want on the map and I, I put that uh, we want a lot. I want to know as much as possible and uh, then you can set your route preferences also so you can avoid u-turns ferries carpool lanes unpaved roads and then you can enter some custom avoidances of your own it does hook up to your wi-fi if you have it but it also can hook up to an app on your phone and what that app on the phone will do is let you know of any traffic that's coming uh, in your direction possibly alternate routes that you can take um, if you have the additional camera you can put it on your uh, back of your car and you can just see uh, as a rear view camera and there's just a whole bunch of features that you can program this that you couldn't get on the, the built-in GPS. And then uh, on the uh, map mode, if I'm driving, there's this little wrench down in the corner and all these little boxes are uh, interchangeable. And so I usually can put what's up ahead and I have it pre-programmed for truck stops, but you could put fuel stops. Uh, I, I choose truck stops because that's where we get our diesel fuel. It'll let you know when there's rest, the next rest area is and any camps and RV parks. The other thing is, is it usually alerts you after a certain amount of time and, and ask you if you need a rest that there is a uh, stop up, up ahead. Some of the other features that you can get on the route, uh, the, uh, the wrench 
is your trip data. You can uh, program your phone into it. If, if we were on an actual route, I can see what the elevation is, if there's any uh, big hills or, or descents coming up. This will alert you as you're uh, navigating to any sharp curves, any steep inclines or declines that you need to be aware of. And then you can change uh, all of this around, uh, whether you want it to go uh, faster or, or slower, what your average speed is so that it calculates your uh, time to your destination. And you can choose over here what you want to show, direction, time of day, elevation, uh, the grade of the, the road that you're driving on. So these are all handy features uh, if you're going into mountainous regions and you want to know some of those things. This particular model is the RV770 uh, GPS and uh, we highly recommend it. We've been using this one for about three years now. There's newer models that are out, uh, but this one works just fine. Now, how do we do our route planning? We do our route planning on our laptop. We use a program called RV Trip Wizard, and on that I can set my whole route, my destination, any stops, and then what I do is I transfer that information over to the uh, Garmin GPS. But the RV Trip Wizard is um, RV friendly also. It has the same parameters that I have in my RV GPS. I hope you found this information useful for your RV travels. If you take a moment and like and subscribe to our channel, uh, we would greatly appreciate it. And share with any RV friends that you know that can use this information. We hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, we'll see you on the road. Have a great week, everybody.